Welcome to our classroom. In this, in this video, we are going to be talking about how to factorize using the highest common factor. First up, the word factorize in mathematics means that we're going to take a sum or a difference and rewrite it as a product. When we factorize by the highest common factor, we one, choose the highest common factor, then we divide our terms in our, in our expression by the highest common factor. And then we, we rewrite our expression using the highest common factor and the quotient from our division. Let's first talk about what the highest common factor is. The highest common factor of 15 and 20. First of all, what are the factors of 15? The factors of 15 are the numbers that can divide 15 without leaving a remainder. So we can say 1. 3, 5, and 15 are the factors of 15. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. The highest number in these two groups that is common to them is 5. So the HCF of both 15 and 20 is 5 which means that 5 is the highest number that can divide both 15 and 20. In this expression, 2ax plus 10bx, we notice that we can divide both expressions by 2. 2 can divide 2 and 2 can divide 10. We also notice that x is a common thing for both. This one has a, this one does not. So a is not a common factor. This one has b and this one does not, so b is not a common factor. The common thing has to be present in both 2ax and 10bx. So because 2 can divide 2ax and 2 can divide 10bx, we have 2, and because x is common to both, we also have the x. So this combination of the number and the letter is our highest common factor. In this, exp this expression here, we have an x cube and an x, and we have a y square and a y square. So both letters are common. When we have powers, we choose the lower power for our highest common factor. It kind of sounds odd, but that's, what, that's how it works. So x cubed and x, x is the lower one, so we choose that one for our common factor. And since both of these are y square, then y square is the common factor. So our HCF is going to be x y square. Let's see how this works out in an actual question. This question says factorize completely 3x squared minus 21x. And notice the word completely. Completely means we should not leave any factors in there. So we must pick out the highest common factor for both terms, this term and that term. Looking at it, we realize that both terms can be, can be divided by 3. 3 can divide 3, 3 can divide 21. So we choose our 3 as our highest common factor. We also notice that both terms have x, so we choose the lower x. This one has x squared, this one has x, so we choose x. We open a bracket. And now we are going to divide both of these terms by our 3x. So 3x squared divided by 3x means, if we write it out, 3 times x times x, and here I'm using a dot for the multiplication, divided by 3x. I'm using a dot because I don't want to use an x to confuse the x letters. All right. So the... 3 can divide the 3, that cancels out, and this x can cancel out that one, which leaves us with just x. So 3x squared divided by 3x is just x. And we write that x here in the bracket. Put our minus sign, and now we're going to divide 21x by 3x. Three, this x cancels out immediately, and we see that 3 can divide itself one time, and 3 can divide 21 seven times. So we put our 7 in the bracket and we close it. And this becomes our answer. So we have taken a difference, 
which is 3x squared minus 21x, and we have rewritten it as a product to say 3x times x minus 7. Let's try it again with this question. Here we have 4x squared minus 8x. So we can write down our 4. 4 is common. 4 can divide 4, 4 can divide 8. You could try 2, but 4 would be bigger than 2. And if you tried 2, it would not be completely factorized. So you must always choose the highest one. So we choose 4, and again, we choose x. Go through the process again. We're going to divide 4x squared by 4x. Remember, 4x squared means 4 times x times x divided by 4x. Here, we can cancel out our 4. Here, we can cancel out our x or divide it out. That leaves us with just x. Write the x in the bracket, put our minus sign, and then we're going to divide 8x by 4x. 4 divides itself one time, 4 divides 8 two times, and the x cancels out, which leaves us with just 2. You close your bracket, and that is your answer. So this difference has now been rewritten as 4x bracket x minus 2. It is now a product, and therefore it has been factorized and completely factorized. What about this question? We have a 12 and we have an 8. Now the highest number that can divide both 12 and 8 is 4. Now let's look at the powers. Here we have a p to the third power, and here we have a p to the second power. So we use the lower one, which is p square. Now we're going to look at the q. We have a q here, and we have a q to the third here. So we use the smaller q, which is just q, the smaller power. We open a bracket, and now we're going to do some division. We're going to divide 12p cube q. So we have 12p cube q divided by 4p square q. If we should write that out long, we're going to have 12 times, let me use the dot so that we don't um, confuse it. 12 times p times p times p. This is what p cube means, p times p times p times q. <clears throat> All of that over 4 times p times p times q. Now let's do some cancellations. 4 can divide 12 three times. That p cancels that p. This one cancels this one. And this q cancels that q. So what we're left with is 3p. So we write our 3p in the bracket. This has a plus, so we put our plus. Now we have 8p square q cube divided by 4p square q. Which means 4 can divide itself one time. 4 into 8 goes two times. P square can divide itself one time, and it cancels itself out, actually. And Q into Q cube, Q, Q to the third means Q times Q times Q. We're dividing by Q. So one Q gets cancelled out, cancelled out, which leaves us with a Q times Q, which is now Q square. So what we get out of this when we divide 8p square q cube by 4p square q, we end up with 2q square. So we put this part in the bracket, 2q square. And this becomes our answer, and we have factorized this expression because we have changed it from a sum with a plus to know a product where this is multiplying that. As you practice and work these questions out, you will get better at doing the division. And after much practice, you will not, be, you will not need to write it down as I'm writing it now. But 
if you're new to this, then I'm suggesting that you write it out and cancel it out so that you can see it for yourself. Factorize completely 15x squared minus 15x squared y minus 20xy squared. Well, we notice that with 15 and 20, our highest common factor for those two numbers is 5. So we write down our 5. There's an x square and an x, so we use a smaller one, we use the x. There's a y and a y square, we use a smaller one, which is a y. And now we're going to open our bracket. So 15x square y divided by 5xy means, let me write it out, 15xxy divided by 5xy. Now let's cancel out. 5 into itself goes 1, 5 into 15 goes 3 times. Those two x's cancel each other out, and that y cancels out that y, which leaves us with 3x. So we write our 3x in the bracket. Put back our minus sign. Now we're going to divide 20xy square divided by 5xy. This gives us 5 into itself goes 1, 5 into 20 goes 4, or maybe I should just write it out first. 20 times x times y times y over 5 times x times y. Okay, now that I've written it out, 5 into 20 goes 4. These two x's cancel each other out, and that y cancels out that y. That leaves us with 4y. So we write our 4y in the bracket, we close our bracket, and that is our answer. We have now changed this expression from a difference to a product, and it is factorized. So I'm saying it again, to factorize means to rewrite a sum or a difference as a product. Let's practice again with two more examples. Here, the only factor here is y. This has two, this has three. Neither of these two numbers can divide each other out without leaving a remainder. So the only thing common is the y. And because this is y squared and this is y, we use the smaller one, which is just y. So we write our y, and now we're going to divide 2y squared by y, which means 2 times y times y over y. As you can see, plus y cancels that one, leaves us with 2y. And then we're going to divide, with the plus sign, we're going to divide our 3y by our y. And that leaves us with just 3. We close our bracket, and that is our answer. Here, 7mp squared plus 14m squared p. 7 is the highest number that can divide 7 and 14, so we write down our 7. Both expressions have m. This one has an m. That one has m squared, so we use the lower one, which is the m. And the same idea with the p squared and the p, we use the p. Open your bracket. Now we're going to divide 7mp squared divided by 7mp. Writing it out gives us 7mpp over 7mp. Both 7s cancel each other out. Both m's cancel each other out. And that p cancels this p. That leaves us with just p. Put our plus sign. And then we divide our 14m squared p divided by 7mp. When we write that out, we have 14 times m times m times p over 7 times m times p. 72 itself goes 1 time, into 14 goes 2. Our m's cancel, our p's cancel, and all that we're left with is our 2 and our m. So we write it as 2m. We close our bracket, and that is our answer. And that is how we factorize using the highest common factor.